we're here committed to ensuring that we have safe and secure learning and teaching environments. Local school and city leaders are joining forces with students and parents calling for an end to bullying against lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender teens. Good evening. Tonight's rally in Normal Heights comes in the wake of several high-profile incidents across the U.S. where gay students have taken their own lives because of bullying. News 8's Steve Price is here now with reaction to what some say is a growing problem. Steve? Yeah, certainly a problem that's not getting any better, Marcel and Craig. More than 200 people attended tonight's rally, including several high school students who say they have been the victim of or at least witnessed bullying. And tonight wasn't about finger pointing, though. It was about finding solutions. Everybody's important. Everybody's the same. A mom who understands what many in this crowd are going through. It's a rally to stop the bullying of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender youth. Seeing your kids suffering with so much pain, uh, it's very heartbreaking. Monica's daughter is now living as her son. And while Isaac has much support and internal strength, he says he's not surprised other LGBT kids consider suicide as a way to escape bullying. Most publicly, Rutgers student Tyler Clementi, who recently jumped to his death, and 13-year-old Asher Brown, who shot himself. We want to let the young people here in San Diego know that they're not alone and that this gets better. San Diego City Councilman Todd Gloria is openly gay now, but wasn't in high school and understands the pain. I was student body president of my high school, and you would think that I wouldn't have been uh, a target for harassment, but I was. my heart Sunday night's rally was held at the San Diego Unified School District offices where officials pledged a safe learning environment for all. Thank you for your donation. Also here, the Trevor Project, passing out information for their 24-7 hotline for LGBT kids. They get 30,000 calls a year, about 50 of which are kids immediately threatening to end it all. Isaac never considered that because he has great support from family and friends. His message... Everyone is equal and everyone is, is the same. Everyone, everyone has differences, but that's something that we share. You know, that we all have differences and we just need to accept them. No bullying? No bullying. And if you'd like to learn more about the Trevor Project, go to our website, cbs8.com, and click on the hot button. We're still in the process of putting that link together there. Unfortunately, I got locked out of my computer tonight when I was putting it all together, but we're going to get it done definitely by the end of the newscast. And I mean, I had no idea when they told me they got 30,000 yeah. calls a year. Amazing. Unbelievable. And 50 of those, they say, are people who are really on the phone saying we're going to end it right now to the mm -hmm. point where they had to call police wow. and have them come and help them while the counselors were talking to them. Unbelievable. It's not only an educational process for those who are just trying to figure themselves out, but also for those who are doing the bullying and trying to get them to understand that, you know, everyone's equal here. Absolutely. But what we really are seeing with all this, Craig, is what it means to have strong parental support mm -hmm. and friends and, and these kids who have the parents who are supporting them and the, and the close friends who are supporting them, they seem to be doing so much better. But unfortunately, you're right. We need to get to the bullies first. Yeah, and absolutely. to get the resources yeah. out just so that yes. they do have someone to turn know to. Know those they resources don't have a are there. Group. Yeah. Thanks, Steve.